So I just got to Singapore, had a quick shower. It is so green here. Okay, wait, so who am I and what am I doing in Singapore? Hi, I'm Bridget, AKA Hummus Bird, 32 years old, based in New York. I'm a content creator. I love thrifting, I love decorating, I'm obsessed with potato chips, and I am now one of Bumble's global connector bees. For the next nine months, Jules and I will be traveling around the world using the Bumble app on Bumble Date, Bumble BFF, and Bumble Biz to make connections with cool people all around the world and just document our experience. First stop, Singapore. Good morning, sun is shining, and I'm gonna go to the Botanic Gardens. This is what I do to take a selfie sometimes. Just prop up my phone on whatever I can find. I want to go to Chinatown and get acupuncture, and I'm going to try to use public transportation by myself. So we'll see. That was way easier than I thought it was going to be. Compared to New York, that was a dream. Anyway, enough dilly-dallying. I need to get to swiping. wanna make a music video with me. No punctuation. Oh my god, he literally wrote back in a minute. There's nothing I would love to do more. That's it, you guys. I found my match. I'm done. Do you think he's gonna ask me to marry him? So the thing about Singapore, which I already heard, but now I'm actually experiencing, is that a lot of the people that are here are not here for long. So there's a lot of people that are here on business trips, and then they leave. Or there are people who are just traveling, and they're passing through, and then they're gone. And so that's all well and good until I'm trying to meet up with someone on Bumble. So now this has happened to me two times already. I matched with a couple guys that I thought were cute. One of them hits me with a blah blah blah. Also. Last day in Singapore. Okay, so he's gone. Cutie number two, he writes back, well, aren't you cute as a button? Thanks, boo. Shame, I have to catch a flight this morning. That's two for two. We'll just keep swiping. Ooh, I just got a response from a BFF. So she was like, looks like we both like cats and eating. And I'm like, are there any cat cafes around here? Cause I've always wanted to go to one and how fun would that be to do it in Singapore? So I told her we should go if she wants. So I'm walking to a supermarket right now and I just caught myself so caught up in a daydream about a guy that I matched with on Bumble that I had to stop myself and be like, oh wait, am I even going the right way? But I am. Wait, no, I wasn't. I had to turn around. Gosh darn it. These cute boys, man. I have my first BFF date scheduled. We're gonna go to that cat cafe on Monday. Yay! I got ghosted by someone that I thought was cute. I'll show you him. I said that yesterday morning and he never wrote. Freaking mad. <gasps> he literally just for what? <laughs> that is so weird. You should have called him now. Call him now. No, not him. Call him. Call him. No, not him. <sighs> what a beautiful day. Things are happening. As of today, I now have a Bumble Biz date in the books for a couple days from now. And tonight, I have a Bumble date date in like an hour. I video called him last night in the app, so I know that it's him. Not that I was concerned, but you know, you never know. Did you know that you can video call people in the Bumble app? So I used it last night for the first time. I'm just gonna shoot Jules a little text to let her know where I'm going with whom, just for extra safety, and we're good. So my only real concern right now is, am I gonna wear my hair up or down? Down, right? Like, down until I get too hot and then I can put it back up? Yeah. Good morning, and yes, I am late. And yes, I am eating last night's leftovers in my bed. <laughs> so yes, I went on my date last night. And no, I'm not really going to tell you anything about it. Out of respect for my date, some people don't want to be on camera. I respect that. So we went to Boat Key. The key is like a dock. So Boat Key is this area along the water where there are just a ton of bars and restaurants. Super cute. So we went there, had a couple drinks. And then my date had to go to dinner. I knew he did. It wasn't a cop out, I don't think. He had recommended this place for good, cheap-ish food called Dragon Chamber. So I went there and it was cool like to get in. There's a fridge with beer in it and then that opens and then that leads into the chamber. So I just went there by myself, got some rice. It's delicious. Mm. My one main takeaway is a little something I saw on the menu. It's called D star 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 soup and it's crocodile. It's, it's, it's crocodile. I'm just gonna show you. I was like, 
Can you not watch me when I eat my food? Thanks. Good morning! I'm back in Chinatown for a biz meetup. It turns out the, the cafe we want to meet at doesn't open for another hour, so we're just gonna walk around and then we'll go. Let me see if I can get this right. Okay. Makeup artist, recording artist, yes. <laughs> plus size model, okay. body positivity activist. Yeah. How do you? Yeah, body positivity yeah. Advocate, activist. Advocate, yes. All in one. <laughs> so really you're just all about being yourself and showing that to the world and being comfortable yeah. in your skin. And you had to go through a lot to get there. Yeah. yeah. I was bullied a lot when I was young. And you know, I when I was young, I really felt so ugly. And I felt like I was not worth like for people to just talk to even. I felt so shy to talk to people like straight into their eyes. Because you were made to feel that way. Yeah. Because, just because of society, right? Yeah. I've never really even told my family that I was bullied at oh. all because it felt like if I told them about the situation, it might actually become worse. When I grew up, I was like, holy crap, there's so many girls out there who are going through the same thing. Yes. I just, like, yes. just nobody has voiced it out enough. Yep. So. I want to do that shit. I want to change all those young girls, make them feel good about themselves, yep. make them understand that your size is okay and you should not worry about your size, especially at that age. The fact that you were able to go from a life like that and now become this incredible woman who is like, I don't give a shit, I'm myself, and advocating for other people to be confident and proud of themselves is really so amazing. Important. I'm like literally in awe that you've had to go through all of this and Aww. you're just like sitting here with a smile on your face. You're just like, fuck it all. <laughs> it's really Aww. inspiring. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. too. Yeah. It was so great to meet you. It was you. so great to meet you. Oh my god, why do you have to leave? <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. Okay, change of plans. So it turns out we were both thinking of entirely different cat cafes. So I actually got to go to two in one day. So I matched with Nadia on BFF, and she had already been hanging out with someone named Eamon who she matched with on BFF. So the three of us got to hang out, and it was just such a great afternoon. So this is the famous Haji Lane. learning is that the quality of people on Bumble, especially on Biz and BFF, is so high. These are people that are actively wanting to meet new people and share stories and just connect. In Singapore, it's been a wonderful experience and now let's see what happens in Bali. And that's it, baby. Oh. So cute. Can I go? No, 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 no. I'm in my pajamas. I'm not video calling. And also, also then he's going to know that I was sitting in the app when he wrote me back.